Hey guys, it's Brig again. I'm just following up with my part two um, for my uh, for my original review video. Um, I've had several people ask me about it. There's been some things I missed from the first video. There's been a lot of response from Rat Rig, which I really want to go into today, um, and it's what kind of prompted me to throw down and do this. Um, I was going to be a lot more uh, professional, get some video software and such together to to do a better video, but I feel like this warrants a response now. Um, so. Rat Rig has released an updated commissioning guide and it is much improved. Um, they've got that up now. They posted about it on YouTube. I don't think it's seeing or getting seen a lot. Um, since my first video was made, this is now out there. Um, if you are looking at it, keep in mind, you have to click these buttons to go between the different configs um, to see the commissioning steps. Um, it's been unified now. It's got a lot of uh, cool new stuff in there to try to tune your machine. Um, and a lot of the documentation that was missing before is actually here now. Um, notably the, um, where was it at? Not the sanity checks. It was the, uh, input shaper stuff. Let's see here. Calibration. So, um, there's a matrix that you need to add that we really couldn't find documented anywhere. Here it is. If you're needing this info, it's all in the commissioning guide now. So this is great. Love to see this. Um, I am going to take my other video and actually unlist it because I feel like Rat Rig is listening. Um, I have had problems with 3D printer companies in the past, uh, particularly Prusa, <laughs> that um, you know they they took feedback and then immediately went into a black hole and they assumed user error. Um, since making that first video, I have had a lot of people come at me like I am an idiot. I don't know what I'm talking about. And you may be 100% correct. Um, it's purely my review. I do have this machine running. We're going to go into that in just a second. I do have my un-idexing results for you guys. Um, I just really wanted to call them out and give them a thumbs up for this because I feel like if you're going to rag on a company for, for doing wrong, you should also tell them when they're doing right and you know really point that out. I think that it, it it's a good sign for Rat Rig that they are taking feedback. Um, and they are acting on it. So this is a, a great start. Hopefully they'll they'll look at the other issues um, that I have pointed out, others have pointed out. Hopefully they'll continue to improve on that. And um, I'll call out a couple more that we had here. Um, for one, like the, um, the first layer issues are something that's still lingering because the um, steel rail versus the aluminum extrusion on the gantry. Um, a lot of people are swapping to a titanium tube to correct that or at least um, mitigate that. So there's a workaround for that. But at the same time, if you're buying the machine, you probably don't know that that's coming um, or going to be a problem that you're going to have to shell out to fix for. Um, maybe there is something that they can do in the future. I don't know if it's something in a 4.1 or what, but um, it's encouraging to see this, this type of response to the, to the criticisms. Um, and hopefully they will act on the other stuff as well. I know there was a, a lot of people that also said, hey, our parts received were also bad. I feel like if they're willing to put out a, a guide like this um, that quickly, that they are taking the feedback seriously. So hopefully the, the printed parts and such will also be improved on. Um, yeah, just really wanted to point this out and um, say thank you for the, uh, the response. All right, getting into my un-idexing results. So... Just wanted to show my graphs, and this is another point. I had a lot of people saying, oh, you're obsessing over graphs. You're expe just being unrealistic and all this. I can, I can see that. I know how people get obsessed with this stuff, and literally all they care about is the graph rather than just going and printing with it. I can agree with that to a degree. In this case with the IDEX, these are pretty decent-looking graphs compared to what we see on the Discord typically for IDEX. Um, there are some that are being posted that are massively better, but it's extremely rare to see them. Um, these are also similar to the graphs that you would see in the commissioning guide. So um, it does seem that this is what Rat Rig expects, potentially, is this type of um, mix between axes going on here on the, um, the graphs and not really very high on the power spectral density. So... Maybe, I don't know if they're planning on giving us more to tune that better, or if this is just what IDEX is. Um, I feel like if that's the case with IDEX, 
maybe just be more transparent with the users about what they can expect performance wise um, before they buy the machine. They shouldn't find out about this in the commissioning guide is what I'm saying. Um, so if you guys watched the first video, I'd hit a point where I was like, Hey, <laughs> I just can't tune this thing. Um, be that a design issue, be that a me issue. Um, me and several other people can't, um, I did notice one guy on the discord had unidexed and seen a, an amazing improvement. Um, so I decided to try it as well. So let's get into this. So here's my IDEX, um, X axis and Y axis on the, uh, the left tool head. Um, this is what my decent graphs look like. Um, typically I couldn't get it much better than this. We also had this large 125 peak. Um, I pulled the, uh, the right tool head off and converted it to a core XY plus hybrid config. And my graphs immediately turned to this. Um, this is the first try <laughs> on just purely core XY. Um, no hybrid belts hooked up yet. Um, I would say that the 125 Hertz went away, but actually I think what happened is the, um, power of the, um, the resonance went up so high that it makes it look like the 125 went down significantly. Um, but you can see much cleaner. Um, I'm getting ZV recommendations on my shaper. Um, was feeling pretty happy with this. So I crossed my fingers and thought, okay, let's hook up the hybrid belts and see if this comes back. Um, thankfully, no, um, they stayed very clean. Um, I've actually cleaned them up even a little bit more since posting these images, um, up to imager. Um, these were my graphs before adding my side panels back on. Um, once I added the side panels back on, it really cleaned up this, um, little bit of mess that I have here, um, and drove the, uh, 125 even lower. So not sure why the 125 Hertz thing is so prominent on IDEX. Um, it could be the second tool head that I pulled off had some type of issues. I'm not sure, but you see this a lot with people with IDEX configs. Don't know what's going on there. Rat rig, if you're watching this, hopefully this is something else you can spot. Um, yeah. Anyway, happy, super happy with the um, the config with uh, hybrid plus core XY. I'm a little bummed that I've got about four or five hundred bucks worth of IDEX stuff to the side. Maybe I'll pop it back on someday if more tuning and stuff gets found to help this. Um, for now, though, I think I'm going to stick with the hybrid core XY config. Um, or maybe just watch out for like a, uh, V chunk kit or something in the future. Maybe I can take those spare parts and apply them there. Um, I can say though, in the hybrid core XY config, um, I'm very happy with the machine. I'm getting good, uh, quality now. All right. This is a, uh, thread that I had open for the 125 Hertz peak issue. Um, I was showing off some of the prints that I've got going, um, with the machine and this, um, hybrid plus core XY config, um, very happy with the speed and quality so far. Um, the, uh, the prints come out really clean. IDEX may have similar quality. I'm not sure. I never really made it to this level of tuning with IDEX because of all the, um, the resonance issues that I was running into, but in the hybrid core XY, I'm pretty happy with this quality. Um, uh, while we're here on the discord, I do want to point out, um, if you guys are looking at the machine, you probably want to go look at the, um, fix my print. I think is where it's at. Yeah. There's a regular surface distortion pattern thread. It's got about 1800, um, responses on it. This is where there's a lot of, um, studying on this whole bimetal issue, um, between the, uh, X steel rail and the, um, aluminum extrusion that it's attached to. Um, lots of speculation here and things that you can do personally for me. Um, I found that if I run the machine, let it heat soak and then, um, retorque the X rail, um, it limited the effect quite a bit. Um, I still have to adjust my offset maybe once or twice on a bigger print. Um, and there's a lot of guys having good results with the titanium tube. I don't really know what rat rig could do for this. It may just be kind of a big machine problem. Not sure, but, um, that is one you really want to look at. Um, let's see, what else did I have? Let me just check my notes. 
Um, there were a lot of people confused about panels not being included. It is listed on the store page. The panels aren't included. It's, it's not listed very prominently. So I think some people are getting blindsided by that. Um, so that's one to keep in mind. And yeah, I think I'm just going to call it there. Um, I will leave the original video up. I'm going to link it to the description on this video that you're watching now. It will be unlisted, but I am keeping it there. That way, if you do want to go watch what my original criticisms were, um, it's there. I still think, you know, some of them are valid. Um, some of them have been resolved by rat rig. Some of them are just going to be, I just don't agree with rat rig, uh, particularly some of their support practices, but, um, it's not like I wanted to like go out and kill the company over that. <laughs> that wasn't my plan at all. It was more just, Hey, I'm a user. I'm having problems. There's other users having similar problems, but we're not really getting anything. Um, I do feel like rat rig has seen the issues now and are taking them seriously. So I definitely want to, uh, thank them for that and hope they continue to, to keep tackling the other issues that were pointed out as well. And, uh, yeah, I'll leave you guys with that. Um, Thanks for watching and maybe I'll catch you guys on some other videos later.